I'm so tap tap and let's play Cohen. This is part of the QT Steam release. It's got three games and like the, the full release of QT Museum, which you checked out before. Oh, there's that boy. Did you see that boy? There he was. Oh, there, beautiful. What a beautiful world that we inhabit. All oh, the shading on the grounds. I don't know if I can handle that. The graphics, whoa. The graphics might be too powerful. We're in the void zone. Oh, we just left the void zone. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the void zone, honestly. The void zone. Um, oh, we're here. In, we've arrived here in Cohen. Wow, three eggs. I love three eggs. Have you, you guys watched the three eggs um, season premiere? It was great. I liked when there were three eggs. Um, personally, two eggs uh, is not really enough egg for uh, an egg aficionado such as myself. Hello, friend. You just, you just do that. You just, I, I just noticed that the crosshair is a smiley face. The camera not, oh, there's a camera. I'm not sure if I right click the whole last game. I'll have to see if that's a thing. Oh, I want a camera. Hello, friend. I love the just playfulness of just look around and see smiley, happy things. That's all I really need from these games. There's, there's secrets, there's always like glitchy ways to clip out of bounds and see some extra stuff, but I'm just here to see this. I'm just here to see the smiley happy friends. Even though they're horrifyingly tall. That's fine. I don't know about the shading. I'm surprised my computer can handle it. It's very advanced. It's very advanced and terrifying. Do you see the hills? That is actually kind of scary. The, 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 the emerging blackness on the hills. I don't know. We don't talk about that. We must not talk about that. Hello, friend. I'm having some trouble getting back. Oh, look at, look at friend. Oh, no, here we go. I'm having trouble getting back on the platform. There we go, there we go, all, all is well. Cohen, hello. We're visiting this place. Yes, hello. Got a little shed for ants. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a shed for ants. This frog zone! Oh, I love the frog zone with the pink waters. Oh, frog zone! This really takes me back. Do you, you guys ever play Frog Zone 64? I mean, you know, there's something to be said about the controls. I mean, but every game like back then, you know, had a little control issues. But Frog Zone 64, um, a real classic. Froggy O Galaxy? I wasn't as much of a fan, honestly. It was a good game, but it wasn't a good frog game. It just didn't have the spirit of the series. What a good friend. What a good friend. Before we cross Ominous Bridge, hello frog friend. I'm just gonna see if we can um, fly up into the skybox here. Ah. Do you, do you know what trees are made out of? Turns out it's that. Um, I think I'm stuck in the tree. <laughs> I like how there was like a, a smaller, more realistic question mark tree. And it just kind of painted over the tree. Oh yes. I'm just I'm just here to to advance my <gasps> You see that mountain? You can climb it. Is this a real open world game? Oh my gosh. It's a true open world, guys. The frog village was only the beginning. Where did I even come from? Hello friend. I just wish I had the camera. See, this is this is what people are talking about when there's open world games and you can climb the mountains. It's this. Ooh. Are you a secret horse? Activate a micro deer beacon. Yes. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. Let's take a swim. Hello, lily pad friend starfish friend whichever you are I don't judge much I'm just walking on the waters there's the koi and there's a be beaver I think that's a beaver we'll, we'll say it's a beaver it's a beaver the koi are beautiful this time of year there's old man kappa oh he's yelling he's yelling uh, he's having a good time he likes cucumbers he's a good guy Seems cranky, but uh, 
That's just the way he is. It's it's not a big deal. Oh, <laughs> there's sideways koi friend. He's fine. He just likes to swim sideways. Chess piece. Are you also a micro deer beacon? No, you're not. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty short here. But that's okay. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's their own size, you know. Doesn't matter. Centipede. Oh, I want to buy it. Is this where you buy the centipedes? I'm a big centipede fan. What wonders await over yonder path? But first, but first. But you got y'all got any of them centipedes? I'm a big centipede fan. After three eggs, centipede, my favorite show. I got it, guys. You gotta let me. Good. Hello. Um. How do? Potion. Just let me in the store. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, no. Let me in. I want the I want the gum. Or the the pink pickles. Oh, did you guys you guys ever had Kool-Aid pickles? I'm not even making that up. There's um, Google Kool-Aid pickles. Whoa. Hey, thanks guys. I don't approve of this man and his noises. Elephant zone has been activated. Actually, these aren't really elephants at all. I don't know what these are, but they have been activated. Hello. I, I'm not sure how I activated them, but yes. Um, Google Kool-Aid pickle. You'll regret it, but it'll be one of those enjoyable kinds of regrets. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You just put Kool-Aid in, in the pickle juice. And you pickle some uh, cucumbers. I'm sure it tastes terrible, but it's it exists. What do you mean camera not found? I want my camera doll. Ah, yes. The egg lake. There's only one egg though, so it's not as good as it could be, but uh, they can all be three eggs. Two eggs was okay, but uh, it definitely had somewhere to uh, expand itself upon. <laughs> Is this another micro deer beacon? Oh, you dropped your thing? <laughs> oh. I'm now noticing the water shader. Neat. Alright, let's activate this micro deer beacon. <laughs> Can we, like, fast travel through the micro deer beacons or something? Photo book. Oh, I don't... <laughs> I don't have a photo thing, so... What is this? The scroll is really weird for this, I guess. Something's... broke. So let's look at the achievements for this thing. Oh, come on. Code to achievements. Find your best friend. Get your camera. Activate all the micro deer beacons. Wait correctly at the train crossing. Duck cafe. Heck yes. Hey, thanks guys. Have fun with the deer. Mirrors do work like that, I guess. <laughs> That's a callback to the... Um, Secret deer garden. Three photos of foxes. Max level. My tallest friend. Oh, there's a lot of achievements in this one. Lays eggs. Achieve all achievements. Jeez. All right. I don't think the did did the original um, library or no. Morning Post. Did that have achievements? I don't think it did. I like the achievements because they kind of give you, you know, they give you things to do and stuff. But I kind of liked it when you just <laughs> look at the funny things. That's all I needed, really. That's still the best part. The fish can have a nice drink. I wonder where my camera is. Ah! Him. It he? It he? Ah, uh, yes, the beautiful, um, rice turnips fields. Did you know that over 3,000% of China's economy is the rice turnip fields? They're so powerful. Too powerful, one might say. Happy Frog Pile. I love Happy Frog Pile. I'm so proud of him. 
Why is there trees? <laughs> what? Happy Snake, if you read this, why are there trees inside of the trees? Please explain. Happy Snake is cool. They they, they commented on a previous video. Um, checking out... Um, I forget which one. Probably multiple of the videos, but definitely um, the QT one. This is one of those, I want to see all the secrets. I just have the tiniest bit of conflict because I want to see all the secrets, but finding them all on my own would take a little while and it would not be, it wouldn't be quite as interesting for a video. I just want to like, you know, sploosh right through, you know, see all the stuff and react to it. And then I can kind of go back, find the secrets, but I'll need to use a guide because otherwise it, it'll just, it'll just be easier for recording purposes to use a guide for that. Which hopefully there is one by now. Um, I am a little late on this, by the way. Um, I, I could have played it early, I think. I did get an email from the developer, but... Um... <gasps> oh no, get bit by a snake! No, snake! No! <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, hello. <laughs> Does anyone have anti-venom? Oh god. Oh no. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's, it's, oh, oh, this kind of is, is the, the controls, you, you, you might expect the controls are in fact, yes, reversed. Um, help, <laughs> help, I, I'm in dire need of assistance. This, the, oh, well, more snakes, no, D did any of you guys have anti- <gasps> Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> He's just a joker. He's just a silly guy. The snake anti-venom um, hot springs. Love them. They're great. Just don't... Don't stray too far from them now. The snake obelisk. Love it. Love it. Look, the snakes are happy and friendly. They bite you a little, but it's just a little bit. It's just a small fatal bite. It's... It's nothing to worry about. Hello! That's... Ominous. Oh! Oh, I see. Are you developer? Are you the de developer? Let's see what's going on out here. Ominous. <gasps> okay, our camera! Excellent. We have our camera! There's... There's teleport. There is. Oh my gosh, there is fast travel. I, I was right. There is fast travel. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Is this a secret deer thing? Oh, there's a freaking boat. Oh, this game is huge. I was joking about it being open world, but it almost is. I mean, it's just big. I don't know. At what point a game begins to be open world? I mean, there aren't really limits on it, so I guess, is it, is it open world? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this is open world. Secret. We need like 50 pictures of deers, so hopefully this counts. Hello, snake friend. Hello, snake friend. How you doing? Snake friend isn't even like that hidden in this game. Oh, well. <laughs> the water is like no. But you take a picture of him and he blushes and goes away. Who are you? Hello. Hi there. Man, the shading though is beautiful. It's just you can really tell. What the hell is that? What is that? I don't like that. That's scary. I'm getting bad Majora's Mask flashbacks now. What is that? I don't like that. It's a dot in the sky. It's spooky. Hmm. There could be enough in these... I don't know how, how, how long of... Oh, crap. So, my screen is, like, not... There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're at about 15 minutes. I might do a second video of this one checking out the secrets. Um, and I might do a second one of museum as well. 
to do the secrets. I'm trying to keep to 15 minutes and stuff. Um, seems to be more stuff to do. I just want to see what's at the Ark or whatever. This is. There's a lot of stuff in this game. It's a big old... I, you know what? I will call it open world. I'll call... I can call whatever I want open world, mother. So this is open world. Just... it is. Who is this man? Pet, pet, pet. Are you a Moogle? Are you a shark Moogle? What? I don't know what you are, but I approve of your life choices. Um... Should we go straight to it? Oh jeez, you know what? There's enough in this game that we're gonna need a second video. So we're just gonna do a second video. So, uh, see you next time. It, this is Cowan, and uh, we're gonna be checking out more stuff. We're gonna be in the duck zone very soon. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I will just get out.